Hockey's always been part of the family. You know, we have a long lasting joke that every conversation we have with our family, it ends with something related to hockey. My name is Jacob Chikrin, and I'm a professional hockey player. My dad had me in skates at two years old, so I was pretty much skating the same time I was walking. When I was coaching the boys growing up, I always told them, um, the one thing you can control is how hard you work. My dad played in the NHL, and I remember going to the Hockey Hall of Fame as a kid and seeing the Stanley Cup there, seeing my dad's name on it. Something I dreamed about as a kid, and that's why I work so hard every day is to, you know, make that dream a reality, and, you know, I don't want to stop playing until I've won one. The injury happened uh, the third to last game of the year. I remember kind of stepping to the side, and that's when the guy behind me kind of skated into the back of my back of my knee. My leg just, you know, hyperextended, and, and uh, yeah. When we got in the trainer's room on the table, the trainer was feeling around with it. He could pretty much tell right away that it was my ACL, and that was tough to hear. Right after injury and right after we determine it's an ACL, we're gonna go surgical, I'm starting to prepare like progressions in my head because you want the timetable to be accelerated because we want him back playing as soon as possible. I worked with Bill Knowles. He's a rehab specialist. The performance mindset is the restoration of athletic normal as fast as you possibly can, as soon as you possibly can. The restoration of athletic normal is just this place where we say, are you moving the way you used to move? And potentially are you moving even better? So he absolutely got to the place that I envisioned what he should look like. He achieved that task. Uh, right now I'm at three and a half months. I feel really good. I needed stuff that I could not only rehab with, but you know, once I'm through the rehab stages, I need something I can train with. And I wanted, I wanted the best of the best. It was pretty clear the equipment I needed would be all through Kaiser. So the first thing I do when I get in the gym is, you know, I get on the bike, I do a I spin for eight to 10 minutes, get the blood flowing in the legs. And after the warm up, um, we get into the resistance part of the rehab session and I would be doing, you know, some explosive work, some power work. That's where all the energy is gonna transfer from the center of the body down to the ground and then back up through the body and out whatever you're throwing or pushing, that's where all the power is generated from. It's your base. Training with iron, you can only, you don't really know how much power you're generating. You don't know, you, know, you, you can only move the weight so fast. Speed of movement is critical. So if you can apply varying resistance to allow an athlete to try to achieve close to speed of movement, I think that's great. As a rehab tool, Kaiser is, is game changing for me. You know, I, I feel, 110% confident I'll come back, you know, even better from this injury. The knee feels great. You know, the knee is, it's doing very good. I, I've played about 15 games now, and it's, it's doing really well. It feels strong. And once you're on the ice, it kind of makes you feel like a hockey player again. Kaiser equipment. I think I was able to really see a big difference in elevation in my training that allowed me to really see big differences on the ice and um, that's something I'll continue to use my whole life. The Stanley Cup's why we play the sport. You know, it would be the most rewarding thing I think in my life to, to be able to, at the end of the day, lift that trophy and, and give it a kiss.